What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with math and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video I want to solve this trigonometric equation which is secant squared theta minus 4 equals to 0. So, and we need to solve it when theta is between 0 and 2 pi. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have secant squared theta equals to 4 by moving negative 4 to the right hand side. So secant squared theta equals to 4. Then I can say secant, if I have the square root of both sides, it's going to be plus minus square root of 4. That will be plus minus 2. So we have two cases. Case 1 when secant theta is 2 and case 2 when secant theta is negative 2. Secant is inverse of cosine, so when you flip it, it's going to be cosine theta equals to 1 over 2. And the second case is when cosine theta equals to negative 1 over 2. So we have two cases, and I'm guessing for each case, I have two answers. So cosine theta is 1 over 2, so theta is in quadrant 1 is going to be pi over 3. And we know cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So pi over 3. And here we must have the same thing, pi over 3. So for the case 1, I have pi over 3. And the second answer is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 3. The other one is cosine theta equals to negative half, which is going to be in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 which will be pi minus pi over 3 and pi plus pi over 3. So we have four answers. I'm going to write it in terms of simplified form, pi over 3. And next one is going to be this one, pi minus pi over 3 is going to be 2 pi over 3. Next one is going to be pi plus pi over 3, which is going to be 4 pi over 3. And here 2 pi minus pi over 3 is going to be 5 pi over 3. So then we have these answers. If I want to write in terms of degrees, it's going to be 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 240 degrees, and 300 degrees. So these are the four answers to this question. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave related playlists in the description in case you need extra help and extra practice question. You can take a look to the description to find a playlist. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, you can have access to many other videos and playlists regarding trigonometric equations, trigonometric identities, and other topics in math and chemistry. Thank you for watching and have a great day.